I went to the Greentown Community Park Rummage Sale and it was amazing. I have a huge haul for you. Are you ready? Let's get started. I actually found out from this sale from my subscriber, Jolene. She's been talked about on my channel before. Her and her hubby gave me some precious candles that will be coming out soon for Christmas. They're nativity candles. So and you might remember her from that. But she told me about this sale. And the first day I went, everything was the whatever the prices were marked. And then I went back on Saturday and did fill a bag for $3. So the first part of the haul will be my first day. And I spent $4. I found this. And it's marked 75 cents. And it does work. Unfortunately, it's missing one of the little doodads on there and I didn't notice. Then I missed the boat on this. This was a grab bag for Halloween and I don't know why I didn't pull this out. I pulled out all the other Halloween, but I think I just pulled it out from the fill a bag day. So there's a little set of blood and fangs kit and then there's these very cool skeletons. Here's one of them a little bit closer so you could see them. They're really fun. So I should have put those in my booth, but next year. Next, I picked up this whole bag full of these crafted beaded ornaments. These have been really selling well in my booth this year. And I got all of these for 50 cents. That looks like there's probably about eight ornaments in there. So that was a find. And then I got this little shelf. Somebody repainted it. Uh, I can't tell where it was made. It's marked on the bottom, but only part of the tag is there. And it was originally this color. So I'll probably give it another coat of paint because you can see through and see the stain. But I thought that would be cute to put little tiny figurines on in my booth. And I can also mark it for sale. It's got a little place to hang it right there. So somebody might actually want to buy that. And then these, I texted my friend Melody and I asked her if they were for ceramic Christmas trees and she doesn't think they are, but she said she would pick them up because they are for crafting and desirable. So those will be for sale in my booth. And then I found these beautiful glasses and they were two for 50 cents and they have the anchor hawking symbol on the bottom. It probably won't pick up on my film on my camera i mean but i thought that somebody would like those i wish there was four of them at least but we'll take the two and then my last item from the first trip for four dollars was this adorable strawberry shortcake she was 50 cents and she is not old she's from 2021 but i thought somebody might like to purchase her and if not, I'll keep her because she's darling. <laughs> so that's everything I got for $4. Now let's compare and see when I went to the fill a bag and what I got for $3. I will say that I took a chance on some things I wouldn't have purchased for the full price because I'm not really sure if they'll sell or not. But when you're filling a bag for $3, let me tell you what that turned out to be per item. I got 40 items, so that comes out to eight cents an item. So I could kind of take a little bit of a chance and, you know, get out of my box and buy something maybe I normally wouldn't. And I also will have a clip of a couple things that I did already put in my booth. So let's get started with these. These, if I know the price is what they were originally marked, I'll tell you. These were in a bag together for $2.00. But, you know, of course I didn't pay that. And then on the bottom, it says they take an LR44 battery. So I want to try and get, pick one of those up somewhere. Well, actually I'll need two and light those up. I think they're ornaments because they do have the string there at the top. Do you know anything about these? I think they're very, very sweet. And with the red and that they're ornaments, I will be putting them in my booth soon. And then I got these beautiful salt and pepper shakers. And I was trying to read what it says on the bottom. It looks like Steffer, maybe? S-T-E-P-P-E-R, I'm not sure. But I don't know if you can pick up on the design, how pretty it is. 
no stoppers, no luck there, but that's okay. I think those will sell in my booth. And there was not a price on those originally. This was something that I did not realize. This is a salt and pepper shaker set from Hawaii. So I'll show you those. And then the wood pieces were to be put together to hold them, but there's a piece missing. So I will probably ask my husband about that to see if he can fix it. And if not, I'll just sell these as is. So there's, let's see, how would that be again? This was flat on that side. I can't remember why. I had it all put, oh, I remember. Actually, the side of the salt and pepper was broken off. Yeah, those will need a little work. I don't know if I should have picked those up. All right, next, let's go on to the jewelry I bought. I got this really cool bracelet. It looks vintage to me, and it's just one that you would slip over your wrist like that. That was originally marked 25 cents. And then I got this set. There's a bracelet that opens up and you just slip your wrist through like that. And then there's matching clip earrings with that one. Yeah, those are clip earrings. I thought those were very vintagey. Let's see, I have these cute little wooden shoes and they came together in a little baggie. Oh, they say something on the top. Hmm. Does it say Holland? Yeah, I think it's Holland. That would make sense. I thought they were kind of cute. And maybe somebody would collect those or just want them because they're unique. And then I got this bag of ornaments. It was originally marked 50 cents. Now there's three ornaments in here. This one was just a Dollar Tree ornament, but I thought it was rather cute. And I don't know if it was an older one or newer. It doesn't say uh, what year it is. Let's see if it... Ooh, I don't wanna get a copyright strike, but evidently it's We Wish You a Merry Christmas. So there's that one. And then this little bear, it's not really an ornament per se. She's kind of cute and 90s looking. And then this one is an ornament and it's a little like scarecrow type straw ornament. And then I, next I got some wood items. They're all banks. So it looked like maybe somebody donated their bank collection. This one's from Washington DC and the back says time to save. And right underneath the handle there is where you put your money in. And this was originally marked a dollar. And I don't know how you're supposed to get the money out because there's no opening on the bottom. Hmm. There's no money in there either. So I wonder if you have to pry off the top and get the money back out that way because obviously if it would go in, it would come back out. Or maybe the point is you just save your money forever. <laughs> so there's that. And then this bank is very similar. It's smaller. And it says Jacksonville, Florida. Time to save. Same thing. And no way to get the money out. So that must have been a thing for souvenirs back in the day. And then there's this one from White Mountains, New Hampshire. Very basic. Right in the top was where you put the money in. And it looks to me like there's a cork recessed there on the bottom. And then this one I thought was super cute. It's a little doggy bank. And I'm assuming that's his dog house. And that was marked a dollar originally as well. I could not resist this cutie pie. Look how sweet this little planter is. And this is made by Napcoware. Yeah, Napco Wear in Japan. And, oh, on the bottom it says $2 as is chip. Hmm. There, there is a little bit of wear on it, on his ears. They're a little bit chipped. And then 
down at the bottom here where it would be sitting. So I think somebody will want that. I'll probably save that for the spring. And then I have this Cherish Teddy. And that's probably actually something cute I could put in my April showers, bring my flowers display because his name is Alan and he's for April. He's from 1993. So he is vintage just as of this year. Oh, uh, look, there's a little patch on the umbrella. That's cute looking. So should I keep him for my April showers, bring my flowers on my tiered tray, or should I try to sell them? You can let me know in the comments. That was marked 50 cents. And now I have a question for you. I want you to caption their faces. <laughs> I would love to know in the comments below what you think they are thinking or saying in their minds, not out loud. This was marked $1. And I just have a, a thing for anything to do with weddings. I think that it's adorable and that will go in my booth. Alrighty, next I have this as a gift. There is a friend of mine that works down at the Majestic Turnaround and her daughter also works there as far as I mean they have a booth and she loves old-fashioned hats so I'm trying to see oh here we go this would go down in the front and I told her I found one and it's all hers if she wants it and she seemed very excited I won't use their names because I didn't ask permission and then we have this adorable little apron and this will be going out in my booth for Valentine's Day because I think it reminds me of Valentine's Day. It's very, very sweet. Look at the rickrack. It's actually glittery. And I've never seen one shaped quite like this. It was probably handmade. So I'll be washing that up and oh actually let me show you this side because this is probably the front. It has a ruffle on it. Very, very cute. Oh, I forgot about this. This was buried. There might be something something in this bag I'm keeping. Let's see. This was marked 50 cents. And I got three items. I got him. I just think he's adorable. I might keep him. Is he missing anything? Hmm. Oh, that's his tail. I'm like, why does he have two feet? There's his wings. There's a tail. And then his feet are here. Look how sweet. And then this I'm definitely keeping. This was made in Hong Kong and it was actually made in British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. And it was for Murray Allen Imports. And it had candy in it. Oops, I almost dropped it. It's a little tin egg. Look how sweet. I love that. And then there was one more item in the bag. If I forgot to tell you, this was all marked 50 cents. Look at this little mask. It's a bunny mask. Isn't that sweet? I've never seen that before. So all of that for the 50 cents. Of course, I got it all for $3. This reminds me of something my mom has and she gave me to sell. I haven't tried to sell it yet, but it's a little vase. Hers is taller and blue, like a cobalt blue. And it looks rather dirty inside. So I'm going to try to clean that up. That was originally 50 cents. And then this, I didn't realize I put it in a baggie or maybe it came that way. All the bark is coming off the back, but they're little salt and pepper shakers from souvenir from the Ohio Turnpike. They say, good old pepper aged in the wood. It's never forsook by a real good cook. Salt of the earth in a limb of pine for the table. It's use for the taste. It is fine. Oh, these have a date on of 1960 and they were originally 75 cents. So I'm hopeful somebody will want them even though the back is falling off. This was a great find. There was all of these brass hooks in here for 50 cents. So if I want something built and my husband needs hooks for it, that's what those can go for. Those hooks can be really expensive. Here's a salt and pepper shaker. For 50 cents, wait, let me get this out of the bag because I don't know why it's connected. I can't read it, but it's a name. And then Indian Museum, Emmericksville, 
Pennsylvania, Route 1, these are connected. They're little gavels, and the stoppers are there. Aren't they cute? So a lot of souvenir stuff here in this hall. I was thinking maybe putting it out in the summer because that's when you think of vacation time. All right, this was very, very unique. It's very lightweight, and I don't know what it's made out of, but it's not real sturdy. It's kind of delicate. It was a quarter, and the lid kind of slides off, and it's just like a little carry carry something in type of thing, like a purse maybe. But it wouldn't be very practical, so I think this is more of a novelty or collector type item. So I'm going to not put the lid back on that because I don't want to break it, but it's got a strap on it. So that was marked a quarter. That will be going in my booth. And then do you remember a while back when I went to Canton Preservation, I found one of these? It's a knife sharpener. It says insert article to be sharpened from this side. It needs a good cleanup. On the front, it says dial a perfect edge. On the left is knife guide. Oh, they're both left, right knife guides. Dial X sharpener sharpens everything. I still haven't tried mine and I want to. And then I got this scoop. I don't know. I just thought this was pretty cool and 70s looking. And it's for a quarter cup. So that, wouldn't that have been great if they had all of them? So that was a neat find. And then this I thought was very unique. It was in the books. And it says the marriage bond. And there's a lot of poems and like writings in the front. Let me read you one of them. Just a short one. The kindest and the happiest pair will have occasion to forbear and something every day they live to pity and perchance forgive. Look at the beautiful illustrations. And then what it actually is, is a book that you can write in about your wedding. So this is you know, really reminiscence of the 50s, I would say. I'll see if I can find a date though. See, there's a place for guests and bridal gifts. And I'm not looking at every page, anniversaries, new homes. So it's kind of like a book of the first years of your marriage. And I think it might've been a free giveaway. I'm not sure. It was printed in Germany. Yeah, I don't see a date. But I just thought somebody's going to want this. I just thought it was super, super sweet. This one, unfortunately, I did not realize it's chipped. It's very unnoticeable unless you run your finger along there, which I should have done. Um, this was made in Japan and it says 52 973 on the bottom and it was originally $3. So that paid for my whole bag right there. It's got sort of like a cork wrapped around the lid, very clean, and it says instant coffee on the front. So I think somebody might want that even though it's chipped. It's just a real novel item. I've never seen that before. And then my last item is this pretty vase. There's no marker, no maker on the bottom. But I just thought it was very pretty, very detailed, and I did not find any problems with this. But sometimes it's easy to miss something. And originally it was marked 50 cents. So that's my last item. Here's the items that I want to get into my booth right away, either for Christmas or the Halloween season. And this is going to my littlest grandson. So let me go through these here for you. These candles are super large or tall and they were marked 50 cents. These two bats, I think may be vintage. You can let me know your opinion. So I kind of remember something like these from when I was little, but of course they could be, you know, reproductions and just made recently, but there's two bats. One has a string, one has a wire coming out of it. I think they probably just hooked up because they broke the string. And this I thought was super, super sweet. A little snowman. I loved his little legs out of wire and I think he's just very very happy 
and it has a um, little personalization there on the back from 1994. This little angel reminds me of something my grandma would have made for me, either one of my grandmas actually. And this little guy, I think he's missing one of his ski poles, and I don't know why he's holding it up in the air. <laughs> but look at the little knitted cap. I just think he's precious, so I don't know how I can fix that. This one is just very simple, made out of felt. This little guy, I was very surprised to find that there's a crack on his leg where he was repaired. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's very hard to see. Oh, there, there's how I found it. With I thought, what's going on here? See, it goes right along there. However, if you were going to set him on a shelf, I think he's really adorable. He was marked 50 cents. The, the bats and the ornaments I showed you were from grab bags. This is really cute. You know, oops, don't get another crack, Mr. Scarecrow. <laughs> um, this does not have any initials on the bottom. I think it's a ceramic hobbyist piece, and it has the tiniest of chip here and over here. So if you put the lid on and set it up somewhere, I don't think you're going to see them. And then I already showed you the bib. And then this is a cute little croc type thing. This was marked 75 cents. It says Chris, Merry Christmas on one side. And then it has these adorable snowmen carrying a Christmas tree. So it's just a made in China piece I looked on the bottom. But nonetheless, I think it's adorable and somebody might want that. Mark 75 cents. I think I already said that. All of the items here and over to here. Whoops, let me move this out of the way. We're in a grab bag. And let me see, I threw it over here. That's marked 50 cents. I mainly bought it for this. That's made out of safety pins. I think that's pretty cool. It almost looks like a lampshade to me. Let me know if you know anything about what that might be used for. And then I also thought this was really sweet and that would probably sell in my booth. And maybe this, it's a magnet. So I don't know about these items. These are just handmade magnets. I probably wouldn't even put those in my booth. But what do you think about this? Should I give him a try? Very happy fall, y'all. These are a favorite item. They say joy on them and they're brass. There is a little bit of I don't know what you call it, patina on there, and then you can see it's kind of pitted on this one. Those were originally marked 50 cents a piece, so I might put some of my candles from my big candle stash from up at Hartville Thrift in there. These I were really happy to find. They're icicles. They do look vintage to me, and they have these amazing hooks on them. I've never seen anything like them. Have you? Aren't those really sturdy looking and very, very nice hooks? They don't look cheap at all. Here's Mr. Boyd Bear. He was marked $2 and he has his little paperwork right on the back with them. It's something you just hang on the wall. And I thought that would be a good thing to try to sell at Christmas. I purposely went right over this guy. Oh, great. I got glitter all over my floor. <laughs> Um, I purposely left him for last. Did you catch a little glimpse of him and wonder why? He's my favorite. A little package on the bottom that he's sitting on. And I just love this fuzzy hair here he's got going on in the plaid. Isn't that the cutest? <laughs> All right, so that's everything that I'm going to put in my booth right away. I'm going to give you a little pan of it again in case you want to mention one of these items or more as your favorite. Let's see, let's talk favorites. Well, you already know that this was my favorite from the $4 haul. Let's see, what's my favorite from the $3 haul? Well, I think I have three because I have a lot of stuff here. This for my friend from Majestic, she's gonna get that. And then the little, tin egg, the candy egg, and the lovely apron. What are your favorites? I would love to know in the comments below. And do you think I did good at eight cents an item? 
What do you think is going to sell right away? Leave me some comments. That's it for today. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Be sure and check the end screen for the next video that I have just for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.